Whenever I seek, I experience the loss of bliss, of conscious reality. Therefore, in my experimental way, I have, I have had continually to abandon every remedial path, every ego method, every goal, every concept and activity to which I have been temporarily and strategically drawn. Because I already understand, I am always forced to abandon myself solely to understanding as a radical perception and motive. Only then do I again know the living form of reality and I experience the continuity or living circuit that links every dimension of the living being. Thus, I am noted in unqualified relationship and I enjoy it as truth. Therefore, I am moved to assert only understanding as radically real and true. Everything else is some form or combination of the concept and activity of separateness. If I root myself in that very dilemma, I must live unconsciously as a self-exploiter, consciously as a self-giver, sorry, as a self-saver, or medium mystically and dependently as one who awaits the acts of his salvation. Those who are devoted in the great search experience pleasure and pain, vision and experience of the levels of existence and also the medium mixture of high and low. But the life of understanding is already and radically true and real and true. It is not coincident with any of the creative or created phenomena of the great search. Its fullness, its bliss, its knowledge, its motive, all of its attributes are as free and pure as space. The certainty beneath all of its attributes is the living form of reality, which, when it is not avoided, simply stands as the structure supporting all things. When I understand and so am free of every form of the great search, I am simply and already free and full, blissful and joyous, alive, in knowledge, able to create in life free of the dilemma that always manifests as turning away. <laughs>